Hey, what's up? Silas here, getting some vitamin D, and I have a quick question here. This is going to be about the DACA, the DREAM Act in the United States of America, about children of illegal immigrants being naturalized as American citizens, or just the whole, like, they were born in the United States of America, that makes them American, so not those kids. The children who are brought in by their parents when they were already kids and have spent most of their childhood maybe 10, 20, or whatever years, their development years in the United States of America, but their parents are illegal, so they're not American citizens. So some people are against the naturalization of this. They're saying that, yes, I know they didn't come in. It was their parents' responsibility to bring them in, but that doesn't matter. They're still illegal. Now, a lot of people will also go and say that, yes, they shouldn't be white guilt over slavery from decades and centuries back. Centuries back? It's hundreds of years back, yes. Um, and they don't have that guilt because even if you can find that, yes, my ancestors held slaves, that's not me anymore. It's not me. I am my own individual today. That's the current here. I'm not that person. And also a thing with uh, black people in general, we say like, look, you can't keep going on this slavery. Yes, your ancestors were enslaved, but that's not you today. That's what the negative things that happened to them are not carried on to you. The sins of the father are not carried on to the son. And I think there is something that with the West, it's a Judeo-Christian uh, culture, it's a Judeo-Christian um, society, so it makes sense that some of them have this original sin type thing in there. So does is this a viable thing to say, like, look, if we're not going to hold you responsible for what your ancestors did, or you can't really hold umbrage, or you can't really hold some can't be salty over salty such a terrible term to use when talking about something like slavery, so excuse me with that one, but you can't say, like, I am actually in hurt by something that happened to my ancestors. You take yourself as your individual in the current year, on the present day. So when it comes to these kids, is it fair to say like, yes, we should look at it in a different way. Like I know their parents came in. I know disproportionately illegal immigrants and their families do use a lot of social services. Even if they're not using welfare and things like that, just going to public school means they're enrolled in a school when the actual American citizens have been paying tax and things like that. And yeah, so what do you guys think about that with the whole travel thing? And for me, it's a bit of a, um, it's a, it's a bit of a, of a close issue to me personally, because I was a kid of diplomats and I lived in different countries, different continents, Europe, uh, Kenya, and then the United States of America and back to Europe. And that kind of movement and things like that, that wasn't my decision to move exactly. Yet my parents moved and I've had parts of these different cultures and I'm in the point where it's like, what is the part, where do I fit in in this situation? Can I feel American? Can I be American? Am I French because I was born there? Or am I Kenyan because that's my citizenship? So that's the kind of situation that I've had that um, mix in there. And for me, when I'm looking at the DACA situation, I kind of look at that and I think most of my friends are American. Most of my life is there. And being here in Kenya right now, I have relatives here. I have some connection to this place. But I also do feel there's a lot missing by me being n not being in the United States of America with most of my friends and family. That, I, that I've made. So there's that kind of situation where um, I know most people think like, yes, we know it sucks, but these are the rules, these are the laws, and I get that. And that's part of my process of trying to get back in legally and manage that kind of movement type of situation. So I do understand that whole situation where it's like, yes, we understand the legality. But using that argument to say that, yes, I don't care because their parents did this, they're illegal. I think that's an argument that doesn't really carry that much water. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this argument and um, yeah, goodbye.